George's I son, did. Andrew, who was a baby last time I saw yes. him. Now he's so handsome. But also a really exciting new exhibit that you guys have. I did. I'm handling mammals. I'm handling amphibians. Um, we have... A, that's what he says. Um, we have a brand new exhibit at the zoo. It's a Panamanian golden frog exhibit. Um, what's really cool about our zoo, behind the scenes, we do a lot of conservation work, which you don't necessarily see on grounds. And the frogs are one of those. The Panamanian golden frogs are uh, severely threatened, endangered, critically endangered species. And they are, I'm going to hand him off. They are, there you go. <laughs> They are one of the animals that we do a lot of conservation work with. We've been breeding them behind the scenes for years, been going down to Panama and um, actually collecting them from the wild because there is a fungus there called chytrid, which is the same fungus you find here, which is killing off amphibians in Maryland. And what it does is it actually um, it takes it kills the frogs and it's killing them very rapidly. Uh. So um, we've with other zoos and aquariums working with the American Zoo and Aquarium Association and the government of Panama have collected the frogs out of the wild until they can find a cure for this That's disease or it, or it you know eliminates itself and then hopefully we can uh, breed enough to put them back in so our new exhibit is in the chimp forest okay. um, so Panama isn't exactly in Africa but we wanted to get them on grounds Absolutely. and we needed indoor facilities so you could see them all the time and uh, so now you'll be able to see them when you come in to see the chimps and you come in to see the colobus and uh, the rock hyrax and the list if, if gators we can get an Another shot of them. They're brilliant looking. And you said that this is a, like a sign of good luck. This is like a lottery it, ticket. For it us. really is. Um, and they're a sign of good luck. They're uh, one of the national symbols that you see down in Panama when you go down there. They're all over the place. So they're, you know, it's like the koala to Australia. Yeah. You see them when you go down there. And they really just love this frog. But unfortunately, as the government wants to take care of them, the people want to take care of them. But the fungus is knocking them out quickly, uh, quicker than they can breed. We uh, are very lucky that we have a lot of skilled uh, herb keepers herpetologists that, that know what to do with these frogs, know how to breed them. We're lucky in the animal embassy that we can travel a set of them so we can show them to people and sure. bring them out because when we didn't have them on grounds, they were the only three frogs that people were seeing and we have hundreds of them off exhibit that we're breeding and sending all over the country so that we can keep um, the genetic uh, population uh, w very diverse because you don't want to breed the same animals over and over and over again. It's the same um, uh, plan that we have with the penguins. We send them, we breed them, we send them out so we can keep genetic diversity. Okay, before we go, how do you guys handle the heat with the animals? We have some video. Yeah. I mean, summertime is the popular time for the zoo. It is. But it's it so is. hot. It is. It's very, very hot. Um, uh, it's National Zookeeper Week this week, so please uh, say thank you if you come to the zoo for your zookeepers because they, they so hard. sweat their rears off all the time and they work just as hard as the animals at keeping cool. Um, everybody worries about, it's funny, the polar bears. Right. But the polar bears, are their water is ground temperature. So whatever comes out of your tap, that's what temperature their water is. It's like 55 to 70 degrees all the time. So they're very cool. Um, we give them big ice treats. We do the same thing for the um, for the elephants. We do you know ice treats for the rhinos too. Um, when we had hippos a long time ago, we do them for the hippos. So everybody gets a variation of a big critter popsicle. And um, I so, love it. yeah, so we're really creative. Julie Grove, our behavior manager, is very creative in, in keeping the animals cool. And uh, they have misting systems and all sorts of things that we do. But uh, yeah, definitely come on out because there's there's cool zones at the zoo too. You can come into Chimp Forest right. and cool down and uh, and you know go through the uh, tropics of Africa in there. Wonderful. Well, is the exhibit open now? It is open now. It opened Check last it week. You will be able to see it. All of our golden frogs are right there. All right. So go to the Maryland yeah. Zoo. Mm -hmm. You can get some good luck from these gorgeous little frogs. And That's right. um, congratulations, both your sons. We should say. Oh. Oh, he's a little bit more shy. He's, he's over there, but they're, they're gorgeous kids. Thank I'm always you. thrilled to see him in here. They're a lot of fun. Jamie.